Saint Augustine commentary on the Gospel of John, chapter 5, verse 19, following. We have got clear of this question. Mark you that rightly we say the works of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit are inseparable. But as you understand it, lo, God made the light, and the Son saw the Father making light, according to your carnal understanding. We will have it that he is less, because he said, The Son can't of himself do anything but what he sees the Father doing. God the Father made light. What other light did the Son make? God the Father made the firmament, the heaven between waters and waters, and the Son saw him according to your dull and sluggish understanding. Well, since the Son saw the Father making the firmament, and also said, The Son can't of himself do anything but what he sees the Father doing. Then show me the other firmament made by the Son. Have you lost the foundation? But they that are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, are brought into a state of peace of in Christ. Ephesians chapter 2 verse 14 to 20 Nor do they strive and wander in heresy. Therefore we understand that the light was made by God the Father, but through the Son. That the firmament was made by God the Father, but through the Son. For all things were made through him, and without him was nothing made. Cast out your understanding, which ought not to be called understanding, but evidently foolishness. God the Father made the world. What other world did the Son make? Show me the Son's world. Who is this world in which we are? Tell us by whom made? If you say by the Son, not by the Father, then you have erred from the Father. If you say by the Father, not by the Son, the Gospel answers you thus, and the Word was made by him, and the world knew him not. Acknowledge him, then, by whom the world was made, and be not among those who knew not him that made the world. Wherefore, the works of the Father and of the Son are inseparable. Moreover, this, the Son can't do anything of himself, would mean the same thing as if he were to say, the Son is not from himself. For if he is a Son, he was begotten. If begotten, he is from him of whom he is begotten. Nevertheless, the Father begot him equal to himself. Nor was art wanting to him that begot. He who begot a co-eternal required not time to beget. Who produced the word of himself required not a mother to beget by. The father begetting did not precede the son in age, so that he should beget a son younger than himself. But perhaps someone may say, that, that after many ages God begat a son in his old age. Even as the father is without age, so the son is without growth. Neither has the one grown old, nor the other increased. But equal begot equal, eternal begot eternal. How says someone has eternal begot eternal? as a temporary flame generates a temporary light. The generating flame is coeval with the light which it generates. The generating flame does not precede in time the generated light, but from the moment the flame, the flame begins, from that moment the light begins. Show me flame without light, and I show you God the Father without Son. 
Accordingly, the son can't do anything of himself, but what he sees the father doing implies that for the son to see and to be begotten of the father is the same thing. His thing and his substance are not different, nor are his power and substance different. All that he is, he is of the Father. All that he can is of the Father, because what he can and what he is, one thing and all of the Father. Moreover, he goes on his own words and troubles those that understand the matter amiss in order to recall the erring to a right apprehension of it. After he had said, the son can't of himself do anything but what he sees the father doing, lest a carnal understanding of the matter should by chance creep in and turn the mind aside, and a man should imagine as it were two mechanics, one a master, the other a learner, attentively observing the master while making, say, a chest, so that, as the master made the chest, the learner should make another chest according to the appearance which he looked upon while the master wrought. Lest I say the carnal mind should frame to itself any such twofold notion in the case of the divine unity going on, he says, For what things soever the Father does, these same also the Son does in like manner. It is not the Father, it is not. The Father does some, the Son others like them, but the same in like manner. For he says not what things soever the Father does, the Son also does others the like. But says he, what things soever the Father does, this same also the Son does in like manner. What things the Father does, these also the Son does. The Father made the world, the Son made the world, the Holy Ghost made the world. If three gods, then three worlds. If one God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, then one world was made by the Father through the Son in the Holy Spirit. In the Holy Spirit. Consequently, the Son does those things which also the Father does, and does not in a different manner. He both does these and does them in like manner. After he had said these does, why did he add in like manner does? Lest another distorted understanding or error should spring up in the mind. You see, for instance, a man's work. In mind, in man there is mind and body. The mind rules the body, but there is a great difference between body and mind. The body is visible, the mind is invisible. There is a great difference between the power and virtue of the mind and that of any kind of body whatever, be it even a heavenly body. Still the mind rules its own body and the body does, and what the mind appears to do, this the body does also. Thus the body appears to do this same thing that the mind does, but not in like manner. How does this same but not in like manner. The mind frames a word in itself. It commands the tongue, and the tongue produces the word which the mind framed. The mind made and the tongue made, the lord of the body made, and the servant made. But that the servant might make it received of its lord, what to make and made while the lord commanded. The same thing was made by both. But was it in like manner? How not in like manner, says someone? See, the word that my mind formed remains in me, 
that which my tongue made pass through the smitten air and is not. When you have said a word in your mind and uttered it by your tongue, return to your mind and see that the word which you have made is there still. Has it remained on your tongue just as it has in your mind? What was uttered by the tongue, the tongue made by sounding, the mind made by thinking? But what the tongue uttered has passed away, but the mind thought remains. Therefore, the body made that which the mind made, but not in like manner. For the mind indeed made that which the mind may hold, but the tongue made what sounds and strikes the ear through the air. Do you chase the syllables and cause them to remain? Well, not in such manner the Father and the Son, but these same do and in like manner do. If God made heaven that remains, this heaven that remains the Son made. If God the Father made man that is mortal, the same man that is mortal, the same man that is mortal the Son made. What things soever the Father made that endure, these things that endure made also the Son, because in like manner he made. And what things soever the Father made that are temporal, these same things that are temporal made also the Son, because he made not only the same, but also in like manner made. For the Father made the Son, for the Father made by the Son, since by the Word the Father made all things.